Oh, jeez, if I do that, y'all can't see my face. Um, so I was showing you guys my desk and how it's, like, set up. Like, um, got, like, my business cards are just hanging out there. Um, um like I mentioned, I'm gonna put that back upstairs. Like, I like it, but I also think it's a lot. I mean, uh, what I would love to store there is my, uh, Lily Singh How to Be a Boss book. But, um, my autographed copy is packed away in a box, so I don't have access to it. Um, and I know that I was talking also, um, this is so stupid, but I put this thing here. This broke off of a nightlight. It's, um, moon and stars, because, like, that's, like, one of my, my sayings is all, like, what's, astro no, like, astrology, yes, and astronomy. Ayo, um, this, even though it looks disgusting, and I don't know what to do with this, it kind of has a nice smell. It doesn't fill the whole room like I wanted it to. And then, um, I did take my, uh, little dream catcher thing down, and I have it hanging here. Again, I don't know if I like it. This could be tacky. Not that the, this itself is tacky, the dream catcher. Just that all this stuff could be a little, a little much in my hair um but I was debating like do I unpack certain things because I do miss them but it's anyways um I don't have like a whole lot of details but I mean we're not going to be living in there's a lot of birds in the back end we're not going to be living in this house forever we're not going to be living in the state of New Jersey forever um, I'll say that much so that does mean at some point, you know, there will be a move and so I don't think it makes any sense to unpack anything um, And I said to my mom I was like she like made a comment and I was like, yeah, that's why I never um, Unpacked the stuff that I packed and she's like, well, just keep packing continue packing up whatever I can so, um, and I think of, even though like I don't like the idea of it um, when the day does come that we do have to move out of this house, it'll be less stressful because it can already sort of be, like, moved in to wherever. So, um, that is something that, you know, I should, like, be thinking about as I'm, like, going about, around and about the cabin here. Like, ooh, can this be, you know, wrapped and put away? And... Um, on Sunday down in Florida for the condo that we have for sale, there was, like, 16 people, like came to take a look at it so we're now in the month of November and my mom was hoping to have this sold before Halloween and she said if it doesn't because the hurricane got in the way um that she thinks it will sell in January because people are starting to come down now and then like it once it's in season and people are down there vacationing um or people who are you know just um snowbirds or whatever because I said, there's got to be people who always know someone who's looking for um, a place and uh, to, to buy. You know, whether they're going to live in it or use it as a rental property. I don't have a clue. So now that that's becoming more real, I'm a little sad, you know. <laughs> because I'm not entirely ready still um, to let the uh, condo go. But I do have to be realistic that it is definitely a great little vacation condo. But not so much for like living full time or half the year out of it. So definitely the bigger place is going to be better. Um, so yeah, these are thoughts on my brain. And um, my mom got me some, some essential oils. I haven't really gotten a good look at them. I think she got me like a few other little things, but I haven't seen those. My main thing was the moon. I knew I was getting the moon. Neptune was a surprise. I'm looking up at it. Um, and yeah, so I might spend some time today kind of continuing to rearrange some stuff. I don't know. It's like I like things, but also I'm looking at it like it is a lot on the eyes um and i'm trying to keep this area <laughs> as decluttered as possible i still need to set up my backdrop upstairs and find like a stool to sit on um 
and although my dad had this idea I'm like no thank you <laughs> filming idea I could see him doing that like his idea but not me um so yeah because today is one of those days where like I can kind of like take the day off and not really do anything but I feel like I should do something but I don't really know what because I feel like I'm caught up on a lot of things but I mean there are some things that you know I still need to work on um but yeah I just feel a little like tired a little icky I just still have a headache I think I just gotta drink a lot of water like force myself <laughs> even some of those my water bottle can get dehydrated um because when you're just feeling like icky and blech, right, you don't really want to drink water, do you? So I think I have some Gatorade. Maybe I'll have some Gatorade. I don't know. I feel like I'm all over the place and I'm distracted again. Oh, the sun's peeking out. Hallelujah. <laughs> What's the weather going to be like? This yoga mat of mine is very, very comfortable and that's just so cute. Okay. It's 11.34, I'm obviously getting hungry, so I'm going to eat something, um, but I don't know what yet. I've been having, like, waffles and fruit in the morning, and it's nice, and then, like, I'll have, like, um, a can of soup a little bit later in the afternoon, and then I have, like, a nice dinner. Um, what I really enjoy is, like, chicken with either corn or rice, and then a side of, like, cheddar or cheese on a broccoli. Um, or if it's, like, broccoli and potatoes with cheese, that's also delicious. Um, it says, my phone says it's cloudy, but I'm starting to see some blue sky. The sun might peak out uh, at 2 p.m. and linger until it goes down for the night at uh, 4.46. <laughs> so, um, you know, tomorrow's going to be cloudy and 52. Friday, holy hell. Friday, even though it's going to be sunny, the high is going to be 35 and the low is going to be 18 degrees. I feel like I'm like half asleep. Um, ew, it's going to, oh, it's going to rain on Monday, cloudy on Sunday, but Saturday is nice, so I don't know. I was supposed to go bowling on Saturday and I say like I was supposed to. I haven't fully made up my mind because, let me look. I think it's just me and my one friend and like someone that they invited. Um, Elizabeth can't make it, unfortunately. But I am jealous because she's going to be in Disney, so she has a better offer uh, than bowling. Um, let me take a look at my phone here for a second. Go to events. See... I don't know. I feel like this is kind of a two-person event, meaning I initiated this and I started the discussion, but then another friend of mine, who I would have invited, he then kind of created, like, an event page and kind of took over, like, the invite list. Um, and so now it kind of feels like it's his event and not mine so I don't want to tell him like who he can and can't invite um which I haven't I'm like whoever shows shows and whoever doesn't doesn't but at this point I'm going to remind some people um because there's three people interested and two out of the three for sure I know are never going to show up because they never do um the one initially he did seem like he was on board but now I don't know um and there's a total of eight people interested and out of those people well maybe there are more people going there's this girl that i don't know going i think this other guy who now is like trying to like befriend me but i don't know him like i feel like the people i wanted to see are not going i mean the one is but these other people like honestly like i don't know who they are and then um Other people just haven't, like, responded yes or no, um, or even a maybe, which is no longer a maybe on Facebook. It's interested. So, out of everyone who is interested, I only know 
of three of them and personally have met and hung out in person with two of them and um yeah so part of me is like I kind of and I also just I don't know you know my mom's home and I'm so excited that she's back from her trip and it's gonna be now that I know it's gonna be like nice and sunny on Saturday even though it's gonna be chilly like I think that might be like a nice day to go up to West Point or go down to the beach like I don't know I just feel like I'd want to do something fun not that bowling with people isn't fun but I'm not I don't know I'm my feelings are very torn because a, I have been feeling great and I don't want to do anything that's gonna like be too stressful <laughs> and B it's just I, I don't know, there's people I was definitely looking forward to seeing, but I don't think I'm going to be able to see them. And then it's going to be Thanksgiving, and then, you know, I'm going to be in Disney uh, for a Katy Perry concert. <laughs> I'm so excited. Uh, I'm trying to, like, see Demi Lovato. Part of me is, like, you've seen her twice, technically three times, if you count, like, the Jonas Brothers Camp Rock tour. So, and she's not, like, up there with Scotty McCurry by any means. Like, he's a given all day, every day. Um, but I, I kind of want to. And she's going to be in Vegas the same time I think I'm going to be in Vegas. So, like, it just feels like it's meant to be. Because um, part of me is, like, you don't have to see her. You've seen her. But I'm, like, so in love with her new album. Like... That is something that, like, I, I wrestle with in my brain. Um, so, and, and, and honestly, at this point, I think, like, really all the good seats are going to be taken because, like, the pre-sale, like, we didn't even, like, try anything because my mom was like, oh, I need to mull it over. Then she left and went on vacation. <sighs> she went not on vacation necessarily. She did go to a conference, but I think that's different. Because, like, you're busy and you're doing things and, and, and you're learning and you're growing and you're not just, like, being lazy. Um, oh, no, that's sad. Someone lost a doggy. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go eat a little something before I get too distracted by things and this video gets any longer or more boring or weird. But I just wanted to share my thoughts with y'all and hopefully find some clarity within myself um I mean as I'm sitting here I think we're near this oil smelly stuff I mean it's not a bad smell it's not my favorite smell in the world I kind of want to swap it out for something more potent I don't know I might like bring up a candle um because I do have all my candles in a box in the basement and I do have like one that smells uh, really nice. I mean they all are very, very nice. But most of them are my Christmas candles so it's not quite time to burn those yet. But I do have like a summery, tropical-y, beachy uh, candle that goes with my motif. Um, and I might like while I'm in here like working like have the candle lit for like ambiance and the smell. Um, and make this room just smell really nice. I wasn't thinking of buying like, a plug-in thing, you know, like an air freshener, plug it in the wall. But, like, I'm just going to throw this out because it's honestly garbage. Like, <laughs> bounce off the wall and into my trash can. I feel like, the, I don't know. That's the thing is I'm not forming words right now or sentences rather. So, but if you honestly, if y'all have any ideas, suggestions, any, anything you'd like to share, I love chatting with y'all, so just leave me a little something, something down below. Uh, and thanks so much for being here and for watching. And sorry that sometimes these videos get cut off and I don't like properly say goodbye. Um, I don't know, I'm definitely thinking of doing like a live stream, but I don't know, mostly. We shall see. <laughs> So thank you all so, so much for watching and being here and for all your love and support. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and to like the video. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. And uh, hit the notification bell because until things get more organized, uh, I don't want you to miss out on a video. So thank you all and don't forget, as always, till next time, keep it quirky.